Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. What's good? What's going on? It feels like one million years. Chat, I say this every time, but it feels like one million years. I'm only just realizing, like, today that I actually didn't upload the VOD of the last time we played this. Which is kind of fucked up. And I'm trying to upload it now, but it's it's being weird. And it's not particularly letting me. It's not being very um, cooperative, unfortunately. Send this fucking music down while I talk to you. There we go. Uh, which is, yeah, a little bit frustrating. I'm going to try my best to actually get it to work. There it is. Reading what on a boat ooh, is currently pending. And I've scheduled some stuff for the VOD channel, like I said I would. But in any case, it's going to be a short one today, so we might as well get on in it. Just let me kill some screenshots. Real quink. I'm going to sneeze. Hold. Ow, that hurt my nose. I didn't like that. Oh, God, that hurt. Alright, let's uh, activate Sunless Sea. Uh, game capture. Sunless Sea. Music. End. Alright, let's get it. So, when last we were in this realm... We gained a new traveler, which is like a living snowman called Rose. And we got to figure out what our next um, destination is, really. Kind of, kind of exciting, kind of epic. Here we are at Avid Horizon. We are well for food. We are well for uh, uh, fuel, also. All right. We don't have our fella yet. In the hold, we have... Uh, we need a new fucking boat, dude. We need some more skin to lack as well. Okay. And our hull's doing pretty decent. Okay, you heard a story. Okay, currently we're in Avid Horizon. Two vast winged shapes guard a gate of something like resin. Smooth but uneven. It is deep gaunt, gant, the color that remains when all the other colors have been eaten. Ice crusts over the cracks between its valves. Approach and your breath freezes. Falls, tinkling in shards from the air. It would be utterly foolish to touch the thing. A merciless wind blows from everywhere to everywhere. It passes without effort through your bridge coat, your flesh, your lungs. The docks lie empty. We have heard a story. The ice by the gate's edge. There was a whisper about a hunting quest and a final revenge. Behind the ice. Yes, yes. This is what the rumors meant. A hunter frozen in the ice, hands contorted to claws, mouth agape. With her left hand, she had plucked her own eye from the socket. It lies very close to the surface of the ice. If the stories are true, there's a dark virtue in that eye. Take it, then. Perhaps you should put it in a jar. Eat the flesh of the deep lurkers and your eye will change. That's kind of epic. Okay, 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 okay. Where's our cool eyeball? Hunter's eye. Let's check our map. Where, do we, where would we like to go? Where shall we head? I reckon we head uh, east. We got, we're well for food and, and uh, fuel and the like. Our terror's not even that terrible. Terrorable. So let's head on. Because I think we came straight from London to the Avid Horizon. So let's reduce that terror a little bit. Unfortunately, we lost Ratland last time, which made me incredibly upset. So we need to avenge some motherfuckers. We enter Stormbones. St. 
Elgius sends his fire to dance in the air on deck. Very far away, we see the great light of the ragged crow. So let's explore these ice straits. Let's see what we can see. Fed the crew. It's currently March the 3rd, 1888. Whole lot of nothing over here. Hmm, but if we stick to here, the terror doesn't rise too much. Which is nice. Soft wind from the east, the impossible scent of pine. Almost, ooh. Elephant's abyss. I see some JPEG smeg there, look at that. Alright, so we've found Elephant's abyss. Let's head towards Bright again, I think. No, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna stay we're gonna stay stay northwards. Terror is rising rapidly. Not amazing. Go, my bird. No islands within range. Just gonna toggle that torch on and off to maintain our fuel levels. Uh, and maintain our terror levels. And honestly, see what we can see. The light's reflecting off the ice. Which is beneficial to us. Yeah, look at that. More JPEG smeg from that same rock. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. And over here we have frost, frost found, some cool fortress or something. It looks like another uh, vortex over here through the fog. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't do not know what to expect over here. We're headed into uncharted waters, restless nights. In the watches of the nights, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately. Another. Hmm. Nah, she'd be right. There'd be right. Ignore them. The crew, is, the crew is subdued as they take their meals, but all is quiet in the next watch. All right, new area time. Let's go. Send out the bird. I mean the bat. The bat is the bird. He'll know what to do. Achilles Abyss. No islands within Z-Bat range, unfortunately. Whoa! Lifeberg, look out. It comes. We can lose it in the straits. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get out of here, boys. <gasps> There's a lantern over there. Let's go towards that. Palmerston's Reach, there is brimstone on the wind. Alright, looks like we've avoided the lifeberg. Luckily for us. We need a reference point to work off, though. There's something down here. Mount Palmerston. <gasps> we needed to deliver something there. Burning blue, a hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. Attempt to calm them and spin them a story. Hmm. We can calm them with hearts, or we can spin them a story. Ah, now any lubber knows what a blue light means. Eyes wide. Rubies the size of grapes, and the grapes the size of apples. Of course, the islands are only visible in blue light, then for only for an instant. But if we find it, my hearts, if we find it, they grin. They don't exactly believe it, but they'd like to. We lost a Z story, but we lost five terror as well. Look at that weird outcropping over there. Ah, Palmerston Island. Here we go. This is where we kind of want to be. Whoa, big volcano. That's why everything smelt like brimstone. Burning blue yet again. All right, calm them down. <sighs> the darkness in the neath is more than the absence of light. It's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restores sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your Zaylas. It's not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. Gained a fragment. Alright, losers. Here we are at Mount Palmy. Let us see what we can do here. 
<gasps> Who's that? Who the fuck is that? Faustic Corsair, 300 health. No, thank you. Whoa. The music's kind of ominous. Port Palmer. Palmy Palmer. Let's figure out what's going on over here. Drift on in. Mount Palmerston. Brimstone. Always brimstone. Sullen lights glow green at the jetty's edge. Behind the port's port buildings, the island is knee-deep in ash. There are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire. Far above, the mountain's top flickers red. Just for an instant. Chat to the port folk about the brimstone convention. Deliver my smuggled goods. Finally. A hooded figure with a lantern waits at the far end of the quay. We can deliver our smuggled goods. A hurried exchange. You give your hooded shape a sign of recognition. It hisses the reply you expected. You hand over the crate and receive a chitty marked with a thief sign. You will receive the promised remuneration in London. So we've got rid of our um, human souls. We've done our delivery. Let's compile a port report. Chat to the port folk about Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell, and the aristocracy of devils fled here. Here, they plot in exile. Shrug and a curse. They don't do us any harm. They stay up there, we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, that's good for us all, isn't it? We have a port report of Mount Palmerston. Let's explore the island. Tangles of thorn scrub climb the rocky slopes of Volcano. There are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire. Running water, fresh water, a welcome sound. An oasis of sorts. A quiet hollow, a stream of sweet dark water, a grove of parasynthetic fruit trees, boughs heavily with symbiotic fungus. Hmm. Resupply but keep away from the stream. Trees rarely attack. Fish are chancier. Well, we got pretty good odds uh, for this. Now and again, lazy menacing ripples disturb the surface. There's more in there than sticklebacks. Fish in the stream. Uh, well laden, you return to the ship with gall fruit, gloam char carp, and freshly filled water casks. This has been a good day. We were fortunate. We've gained two supplies. That's all for now. Dig amongst the ruins. Perhaps the villagers left valuables behind. You can go over their remains to see what you might find. Yeah, let's do it. Uh oh. Fuck. Emptiness. The creases of your palms are grey with ash. Your crew coughs incessantly. You found nothing but ruined fields and empty shelves. We were unlucky, lost two supplies, gained five terror, and a memory of a distant shore. Look, that was literally zero dollars to do, so that's fine. Shops. Ah, the ex devil bone dice. What are those? That's kind of cool. Ambiguous Eloeth. And some zoop. Daily bread for supplies. I reckon we buy a devil bone dice and an Eloeth. Why not? Just for the road, hey? Oh, and we can climb the crater too. Oh no, we can't because we have no time. Alright, cool. Uh, from here, let's head down towards Polythreme. See what we can see in this area. Duggan's Moor. We're searching for islands while we do that. We can sort of island hop. But nothing within Z-Bat range to the east. Because we need to start heading back now. Towards London. Otherwise we're going to run out of fuel. Alright, any, anything? Anything? Where are we? Yeah, this will take us towards Polythreme. And we're doing alright, lightwise. Man, so much sea to explore. Uh oh. Oh, we can get these guys. We can get them. Oh! Oh! Hundred and sixty health though. Don't let them touch us. We need better guns. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Oh! Okay, they've got guns. I thought they were just a boarding ship. We've discovered something cool, though. Get him in the lights. There we go. Hands to action stations, man. Alright, we're taking a big fucking beating here. Bring her around. Oh god, we are so fucked up. I think we've lost a crewman too. Woo! Luckily they, they missed us. One more. One more! Alright, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. They're fleeing. There it is. Holy shit, we better get some good shit out of this. You've destroyed the unfinished pirates. Fragments of clay are littered across the deck. They crunch underfoot like potsherds. Unfinished men do not surrender. What treasure did these villains take? You finished opening a crate of curiosities. Some sort of barrel. Cask of wine. That's it. Just a fucking cask of wine. Oh, my crew. Restless night. Ignore him. Alright, we are uh, really fucked up right now. The crawling stars. Oh, the lookout shouts. Far above, the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting. A rare and ominous event. What now? Record the change and assign a name. If the new shape seems well omened, your crew may be cheered. Who knows? Eyes on the deck. Forbid them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but it's safer. 50% chance on luck. Let's roll the dice. We were fortunate. Z-Bat. Bats is luck. Okay. Gape-toothed stoker averse. All agree. Leathery but lucky. We were fortunate. We lost five terror. Epic. Well, hopefully this bell bodes well for the rest of the expedition. Let's head towards this lantern. What is this? The Tides of Appetite. Yep, looks like we got a nice solid uh, course. Godfall is on the w uh, off to the west. Let's go there. Those look like big bones. What the fuck? Ashaven. Godfall. Let's go around this way. Yeah, that looks interesting. That's a strange shape. Big mermaid kind of shape. And then we can go to the Sea of Lilies and sort of island hop back. We, we're losing a lot of fuel. We might have to go dark. We're going to have to sail dark for a little bit. I'm very concerned we're not going to have enough to make it back. There we go. Godfall. Sometimes, just occasionally, bits of the roof fall off. Be glad you weren't here when this one did. The brawling, bearded men who live here call themselves monks. They pay lip service to Saint Stalactite, Stalactite, which fell from the roof, but their chief interests seem to be wine, blood, and shouting. Of shouting! Tell them of your past, and present them... Let them tell you about past and present events in the monastery. They're eager to talk about their history. The stalactite, they assure you, was one of the citadels of the starved men who dwell in the roof. When it fell, a few of its occupants survived to become the monks' progenitors. How does that work, you wonder, with their vow of celibacy? They become vague and are suddenly eager to speak of the details of passing shipping. We now have a port report of Godfall. Alright, you got nothing else for me? Nothing I can buy? That sucks. Uh, give him a hunting trophy. Wow, we don't have enough... Might we can bring the mushroom wine, and we could get some... Foxfire candles. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, alright, alright. So we should get a bunch of candles and come back here to Godfall. Let's now continue on and go to the Sea of Lilies. Is that a shitty? Yeah, they're, uh, they're relatively shitty. We need fuel off them. Wait, we're gonna die if they kill us. 
<laughs> yeah, we're gonna die if they kill us, dude. We'll just sort of stay behind them as much as we can. Ow! Right, we're about to die. We're actually about to die. Lights off. Silent. Silent running. They don't know where we are. They better not have flares. Ah! Oh god, we're actually dead. Oh god, Mega Shark! Look out! The Mega Shark better fuck them up. <gasps> 21 health! Use the terrain, use the terrain. Yep, cool. We're clear, we're clear, we're clear. Holy shit. Alright, we need to head down here, avoiding that mega shark. There he is. Our terror is rising a lot. But we're almost there. Where are we? Wisdom. And... Nup Midit Harbor. I don't think this place has anything that we need. Prison walls are mercilessly, mercilessly steep. Nup Midit built this place as a prison for the Carnate. Now it answers only to its governor, and the governor answers to no one. Compile a port report. Ships from Carnate are most common, but you see Chilonite vessels, polythreme triremes with chained and sulky unfinished men. Corsairs disposing of their miscreants, even one furtive Irene skiff. The wardens pay them well for their prisoners. We have a port report. A ransom a prisoner, rescue a prisoner. Uh, harbor provisions. Alright, let's buy two fuels. That should uh, see us on our way. Yep, because then we can just bounce to go to there, to there. To there, to there. We'll make it, we'll make it. As long as we just sail blind. I mean, sail, um... In the dark. Let's see what we can do. Invite her to dine with a supply? Mm. Tell about meeting her father. Not allowed. Increase your hearts. Proposition her. Nah. What about you, the cannoneer? Increase my iron. Uh oh. <laughs> Spend a secret to improve your iron. Unless it's higher than 100, the ship must be in good shape to sustain the impacts of the cannoneer's experiments. Not doing that. Uh, what about my cook? Increase my hearts? Yeah, why not? Spend a secret on a heart. What about you? Increase my veils. Proposition the daughter. What about you? Ask to dine. Invite. Invite to dine. Ask to dine. Increase my mirrors. Ask her about Salt's last song. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's just keep on sailing this way and we'll be sort of uh, where we need to be. Ship's going really slowly because of all the damage that we've taken. I really, I really just want to make a fucking new, uh... Hey, what is this? Ship repair. <gasps> what? I didn't know that that was a thing? What the fuck? Okay. That's kind of epic. Now that we know that that's a thing. Wow. Chat, why didn't you fucking tell me? You guys suck. You guys are the worst. You're so rude to me. <laughs> no land lover would notice the change. But you feel the air prickle on your skin somewhere new. Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of the ship's biscuit. It waggles its antenna impertinently. All right, Terra's going up a, a little bit too much. Aha, a lighthouse. That's not what we need. Oh well, look, it's something, it's something. Can we make it with three fuel? Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine, we'll make it, we'll make it. Ah, I thought we were going to scuttle on in. Lightship. 
uh, purchase fuel for... Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Purchase the fuel. We'll get one fuel for 20 bucks. Speak to the crew. They long for news of home. Tea beneath the light. In the bleaching glare of the lens amongst the smells of oil and metal, you sip tea and chat. The sea's terror recedes. Lost a recent news. Lost five terror. Gained a story. Cool. I got nothing else other than that. Onwards we go. To the salt lions. See what we can do there. And try to avoid as much as we possibly can. On, on the way. Because if we... If that ship's beetle breathes on us, we die. Pirate frigate. No, they'll kill us. Avoid them. Stay well out of their way. We'll kill them next time. Don't notice us, don't notice us. Please, 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 please. Ah! Oh, that was close. Alright, let's reduce that terror a little bit. It's going up pretty high. Baked, bre bro Baked breeze rises. The improbable scent of stone out of some distant desert. We're close to the salt lines. We are very close to the salt lines. In fact, there they are. Yeah, and we're getting pretty hungry too. We're almost out of supplies. I just want a better ship, dude. I just want more money. Hopefully we get tons of money from doing that epic um, mission. All the way out to Mount Palmerston. Right, salt lines. Visit the Unmakers. Uh, we get funding from the Bazaar, it's true, but Station 4, I wouldn't call it Station 4. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult basalt. Most of them, some go down to the places under the bazaar. More tea cakes. Lost five terror. Gained a fragment. Carry Sphinx Stone. Nah, I don't have enough <laughs> for a deposit. Nothing available there. Can we get a port report, maybe? Nah, I really think we've already got one. Alright, off we go to Hunter's Keep. Stop. There's a big uh, fella around here somewhere, so let's try and avoid that. Because that will kill us. go into that light for our crew's sanity. <sighs> but so bad for... <gasps> there it is, there it is. Alright, we're shrouded, we're encased in the light, but it's not good for the crew's terror, apparently. That sucks. Then what is the point of those? Maybe it just reduces it a little bit. Let's uh, hop from light source to light source. Looks like vendor bite over there. Yep. Uh oh. All right. There's something nearby. No, we're fine actually. Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, it's the small, small ones coming. Eat my ass, small one. You suck. Ye bonnie lads. Okay. Where do we want to go next? I want to go down here. Let's look at all these areas we've been exploring. This is sick. Getting close. Home. Warmly lit, warmly lit windows. Company. Peace. Thoughts of home come at the strangest times. I'm glad we bought those fuels. Because uh, I don't think we would have made it otherwise. Here we are, Hunter's Keep. Hey, the ladies are here. Humps of dark rock swathed in mist like a hundred other Untersea islands, but here's a grand house. Windows aglow, lawns and possibly green and lush in the false starlight. Raked gravel paths. You stand on the docks. Um, let's go say hello to Lucy, the middle sister. Sunny, restless, prone to giggles. A daft tail. Lucy leans over and whispers to you, Confidentially, a complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. 
You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and a butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in mo months. Lost uh, 10 terror, lost 48 hunger, gained supplies, acquainted with the sisters of Hunter's Keep. Memories of distant shores uh, does not change. You have now, now have the God of the Sea Stone's attention. Uh oh. Reconnoitre the island. Report report. Alright, let's go. Let's uh, slidle on along. Down into fallen London itself. And see what awaits us in port. Ship repairs for one, I'll tell you that much. We can use our admiralty favours to just completely repair the fucker. In we sail, there we go. Happy days, gentlemen. Let us make port. Hey! Rose rushes to the rail to watch the city emerge from the fog. Home, it cries, grinning. Everyone's going to be so surprised. Maybe mother will cook roast blemming and... The grin fades. The snow child looks down at its hands. Only I couldn't eat it, or bring her egg hot, or sit by her feet at the fire. It'd be like last year with the snow. We played with it and it was fun, but then it melted and... Rose sniffles. I can't go home, can I? I'd make her cry again. Try to help, Rose. Is there an alternative you can offer? Unfinished business. My grandpa always told me stories of the East. I always wanted to see it. Mother said he only kept going out to Z because of the trumpets at Gator's Morn, but she must have lied, because when I asked, he just laughed and said he'd never played any instruments. Rose's eyes shine. East, he never got there, but I will. I'll go further than anyone's ever gone. Not if I'd just melt, though, because that'd be pointless. Rose looks up at you, clearly expecting you to perform the impossible. There is a city without kings, where devils gather to rewrite the laws of nature. They may be able to assist with this dream for a price. The snow child has made a wish. Interesting. Ooh. Souls delivered. Okay. What a propitious, propitious and encouraging occasion this is to meet again here in this place which has seen been so very fortunate for us both. A lamb to shake you warmly by the end since you've demonstrated your unwavering commitment to fair dealing and honest conveyance. Very good. My patron will toast you. Accept payment. I fucking will. You do need to cover your costs. Only $200. Fuck. An encouraging leer. An easy compensation and a little fuel and a few barrel of biscuits what a certain other captain has widely surrendered for the common good. I will take the good word to my patron and, you, and if I'm a man of my word, we will see each other again. Unless a whale eats you, of course, in which case I hope you'll not think poorly of me for wishing that we will not. Alright. $200. Five fuel, two supplies. And, you know, that's alright. Okay. Yeah, not bad, not bad. One, once more we find ourselves here on the quayside. What is, I suppose, you might say, the lip of the well of opportunities. Let us both drink deeply from this well, by which I mean my patron has a task for you. Take a payment across the ocean and bring back a little package. Agree. Of course, if you return to London without the little package, I probably have something a bit sharp to say about it. Here's the money. Don't lose it. Okay. Okay. Now bring the package back here, and it is my uh, recommendation that you avoid the ungentle attentions of the excess, on account of if you return without the package, it is of no interest to my patron whether you have lost it or I had it taken from you. Good luck, good luck. Alright, we need an unstamped crate of brilliant souls. Let me write this down. Uh, where's my paper? Here we go. Unstamped. Souls to London. All right, that's what we need. Gained one thousand. <gasps> We've been asked to collect a packet package from Polythreme. Okay, so from Polythreme. 
from Polythreme to London. There we go. Perfect. The Dark Speckled Admiral. Uh, he will purchase intelligence. All right. Submit some port reports. Hunter's Keep. He's fine with that. Fuel. Money. Like $5. He doesn't give, really give a shit. Mount Palmerston, the Brimstone Convention. They trouble me, Captain. No longer have a port report. Gained $40. Gained a favor. Mount Palmerston has been confirmed. And gained a fuel. Godfall. Pirate Monks. I honestly have no idea what we're supposed to do about Pirate Monks. What are they up to? we got to remember to bring some uh, times five flares to Godfall. No longer have a port report. $30, favor, accomplishment, fuel. Avid Horizon. I hope you intend to tell me that everything is quiet there. Port report, $10, favor, did not change, accomplishment, fuel. Wisdom. Bird. Did the oracles look hungry? $30, fuel. Favor hasn't changed. Salt wines. Fuel hasn't changed. Yep, yep, just a little bit of money. All right. Talk to him. Ask about subsistence maybe yeah all right uh, fuel stores gain we've got 16 fuel let us repair our ship completely which lost three favors and 24 dollars we are totally fine okay now let's check the shipyard can we swap for a better boat oh <gasps> No, we are pretty far away from that. Okay. Foxfire candles. One. Five, please. We're not allowed to buy more than five. Let us sell some stuff. How much was that devil dome? Devil dice. Uh, let's sell that one thing of wine, I guess. I'll sell... Uh, torpedo components because I don't use them. What is that? <gasps> what the fuck? Hello? Do we have a cool gun that we're not using? Reproach. No, that is what we are using that one currently. Okay. Uh, cargo. Cargo is 39 out of 40. Stygian ivory. I'll probably just sell. Might as well just, yeah, let's just sell everything that we have. Make sure our um, stuff sort of, apart from the skin to we're keeping that. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell those, sell those. Naval surplus. We're using that. We're saving to use that. Anything else? We're using that. And house of vision. No, we're good. Okay. Tattoo parlor. Nah. Uh, London. Visit the Rose Market. Anyone here that wants some shit? No, because someone wants skin to lack, don't they? The Venturer. Yeah, this guy wants skin to lack and hunting trophies. So let's go to the Rose Market again. An unread log. Skin to like, nah. Look, oh, we don't have a free evening. Okay. Let's go back here. Uh, we can hire on some more crew. Put it in dry dock. We've got that. Carouse. Now, let's go to our lodgings, I guess. Read the morning papers. News from abroad. Lost terror. Gained supplies. Uh, oh, we have a coupon. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, uh, a promotional coupon from Mrs. Plenty's Provisioners for a half cask of salt herrings. We got recent news supplies and lost the terror. So let's sleep for $10 and, um... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, we got some cool shit that we can collect. The incarnadine robes of Mr. Sax. It sits on your chair. This has possibilities. Have five spaces of cargo clear before collecting this. Uh, we do. What is this? Ho, ho, ho. London. 
gives generously to Mr. Sachs. It was really that time of year. Some of them ask, but a shake of the sack is all that it takes to convince them. Uh, oh, is it really that time of the year? Some of them ask, but a shake of the sack is all that it takes to convince them that it's better to give than to receive the crimson beast of winter's displeasure. You return home with a bulging sack of shiny new toys. When you next wake, the robe is gone. Your service is concluded. You've gained three secrets, two strategic information, four drowning pearls, two skin to like. We've got seven. We can complete the thing. A judgment egg. Zoop. Approved romantic literature. Wow. All right. To the Admiral we go. No, to the Venturer. Something bright. Here you go, brother. Port Cecil and the Principles of Coral. It's usually northeast or thereabouts. That's where Skintelight comes from. Round the Thousand Echoes for seven. Thank you. Where I'm going, where it will be light enough eventually. But we'll need something we can manage ourselves. But now I have further need of your services. Venturer has requested... Has a request, speak to him or check your journal. Gained a times two objective, the venturer's venture. Gained a thousand echoes! Ah! We can, okay, I don't want to spend that thousand dollars that we have to spend on that mission. So we can upgrade our ship once we do that. What does he want? Something warming? He wants some zoop. He wants seven of them. Yeah, let's go buy some fucking zoops. Alright. We need to go to Mount 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 Palm for times six zoop. Because we already have one. That's cool. That's cool. Oh man, this is epic. Alright, we're gonna up our uh, fuel. Oh sorry, supplies. What have we got in our hold? Our cargo is literally full. Approved romantic literature. Maybe we can sell that shit. Oh, the admirals. Yo, admiral, you want some disc shit? Pass on strategic information. Satisfactory. Lost the strategic information. Gained $150. Gained a favor. Do that again. Same deal. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? Lodgings. Let's rest in a room above the blind helmsman. Lost 10 echoes. Lost 1 terror. How we have a restful night. Which is good. Back to the rest of the city. Uh, let us head to... The Scholar. Memories of Distant Shores. Oh, the ambiguous Elowith. Some of these things were made as tools. Some just look that way. You can have one of those. It is the product of nature, not artifice. Interesting, nevertheless. I have the very shelf for it. But if you could bring me something worked, not evolved next time. Okay. Uh, have a judgment egg. A mystery in a bottle. Questions, questions. How intriguing, hmm? Has it been in an ape? What the fuck? Did you leave it in a jewel? It hasn't been to the surface, has it? Can you provoke objects to self-motilation? Have you subjected it to imaginary wavelengths? What is... We've gained 500 echoes, lost it, and favors has increased to four. Dread sunrise. Extraordinary implication. Yeah, you can have that. I don't, I don't know what that is. The scent of secrets. It will place... I will place it with the others. One day I'll have enough. We've got lots of money. We have loads of money. All right, we're getting a new boat now. We're actually getting a new boat right now. Shipyard. We're trading in... For the Lampard class cutter. Alright, this boat's name is gonna be the water water war the water the H two O my god. <laughs> Oh, shit. No! No! What the fuck? I didn't know... That's ass. That sucks so much. I had to throw all this shit overboard. Fuck. I really should have looked into that. Alright, whatever. We're going to the shops. We're going to... 
Uh, no, we're gonna go to our hold and equip some shit. Double guns, bro. Double guns. Do we have a torch? <gasps> no, I don't want to do that. Fuck off. I'm angry. I'm actually mad about that. Now, where's our torch? Do we have any? I don't think we have a torch. Hmm. Mirrors. Mirrors veil. Look, let's just buy the shitty one. Alright, all fucking right then. God damn it. God damn it. Lost a lot of money there, boys. Let's go on a quick jaunt. But we must make sure we come back with those souls. But our cargo's basically full, so we've got to... Let's go to the place where we can use the Foxfire candles. Because where's that? That is... Oh, that's all the way over here. But we need to go to Polythreme though, right? Yes, we do. So, we are going to go... Through here and clear all of this shit. Here we go, boys. Here we go. We don't have much crew, unfortunately, but... Hmm. Alright. Hopefully we can just kill some pirates and shit to top up our fuel. Interesting. Very interesting that this is how it's playing out. Aye, ya bonny lass, mate. I feel like this boat's faster, but maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just imagining it. But, excitingly, we have a brand new boat. That's very exciting. Um, eyes on deck, boys. Eyes on deck. First officer, take that man's name. Uh, we don't want people looking up at the stars. Alright, so once we hit that lantern, we, we fang a right. We head east. Here we go. Alright. It is now time. Laughter from the foredeck. Off we go, boys. We're gonna go past Licker Monkey Crag. Into a fog bank. There's gotta be something at the Bonnie Reefs. Gotta be something cool we can discover. <gasps> Look at that! A Corvette. Let's fucking get him. Maybe. Maybe. Is there anything we can land on? I mean, it's pretty strong. We've only got 50 health. Shit, this is gonna be our undoing. Just having no health. Oh god, it comes. Alright, we got two guns, let's kill them. Uh-oh. The chill of Avid Horizon runs deep in Rose's lacra, but even such primal cold cannot last forever. Rose has something to show you. A nature... The nature of snow. Rose hurries you into the cargo hold. The walls are covered with charcoal marks. See, I'm shorter today. It's only a few centimeters shorter than the previous mark. If that, but the worry is real. Every day it melts a little bit more. Blue lightnings crawl leisurely up the funnel. St. Erasmus dancing. The snow child is starting to thaw. Uh-oh. Alright, ready? Fire! Oh, we're brutal, dude. Oh, 
Oh, fuck, we're about to die, though. There we go, there we go. Repair the ship. Uh, ooh. You've defeated an Alcasius class vessel. Crippled, broken, already feeding on the disease, endless hunger. Um, no. Investigate the wreckage. Captain, quick, over there, port side. Hey, it's the pirate poet again. Once again, you're victorious. Have an officer rescue her. They can bring you her freedom price. Hmm. Nah. Why might one of my officers do it? The money is delivered to your cabin. The pirate boat is given a lifeboat sent on her way. $100, one fuel, one supply. Cool. We cannot repair the ship though. So, off we go. Fuck, we're about to die. <laughs> Fuck! Imagine if that's how the story ended. I just ran into a wall and died. No, we need we need we need to we need to go up. We need to go up here. Shit. Alright, if we find any monsters, we're kinda of fucked. But that flensing cannon was epic. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Labyrinth of Eels is this way. Fungus, seaweed, unnameable flora, we enter the snares. No islands nearby. Past the giant mushroom we travel. In we go. Uh oh, mega shark. Fuck. Oh god! This sucks! This shit sucks! You better not fucking get me, I swear to god. I swear to Christ. That's right, turn left, turn left. Oh right, yeah, get out of here, fuck off, see you later. I'm trying to map these ch waters, dude. Okay, fight that crab. The ship's horn, far away. Where would they be? Alright, come on, lick a monkey crag. What have you got for me? What epic things are at the monkey's crag? Sharks here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Or is it just a little stone in the water? Yep, nothing. It's just a little rock to look at. There it is, boys. We finally made it. Finally! Monkey lick. So now we start heading up towards Nup Midit Harbor, which is a big jail. We can afford a little bit of torchlight as our terror increases. My terror is fucking increasing with the amount of health we have left. Jesus Christ. Alright. Up through the Sea of Lilies. Let's go! That'll provide- no. No, because there's like eels and shit in there, right? Hmm. Dow's eight. What is that? Nothing. Nothing! At least it's nice and lit in here, I think. Alright, alright. So we're gonna bump up into Nutmid it. Across into Godfall. Down to Polythreme. Collect our cargo. Head back to London. Fucking another mega shark. And then maybe Mount Palmerston if we can. I, 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 re I regret buying this fucking boat. It, it actually sucks. <laughs> but at least, hey, at least we can use two guns at once. That's something. Alright, not mid at harbour. We get a port report because that's just like, what, five bucks and a fuel? It's about ten dollars worth of whatever. Wisdom! Port report. Anything else? I'm not trying to rescue a prisoner. No shops here. Oh, there is a shop here. Nah, we're fine. Should be alright. Off we go. Over to Godfall. Which we kind of want to go up and across. Not many sailors on this ship. 
Which I guess is why a flensing cannon would be so good against it. Because it does crew damage. Sort of just like fires a big, uh... Oh! <gasps> Fuck! Run! Holy shit! It does psychic attacks! It missed. Alright, flee, 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 flee! Holy shit! Leave me alone. Holy fuck, that thing- <sighs> It started doing psychic attacks. It didn't kill any of the crew though, thank goodness. Alright, here we are, Godfall. We can use our Foxfire candles. Godfall. Explore the Shattered Citadel. Before the Stalactite was a monastery, before it ever fell from the roof, it was a citadel. The fall shattered and killed all its occupants. Probably. Why don't you take a look? Through the cellars. The monks have blocked the tunnels into the citadel. The starved men live there, one says vaguely. They're all dead, of course, but you still wouldn't want to meet them. Still, there's a gap in the cellar wall that they keep meaning to fix. You've moved to a new area. You're at the edge of the citadel. <gasps> what is this? Oh my god. Exploring the shattered citadel. All beneath is dark. The citadel is as dark as only a once bright place can be. It hung up there amongst the false stars, drowned in the azure light for how long? Now it's here. So are you. Very bad things will happen if you run out of candles. Go deeper. The citadel lies on its side, and its halls and tunnels tilt crazily. Edge your way through like an ant through a broken puzzle box. Onwards! You succeeded in a mirror's challenge. You're in the second tangle of tunnels. We lost a fox file, cattle, candle, shadows, flicker. Labyrinth of dwelling galleries. You hear the Z. The passage branches and opens into a tangle of galleries on the skin of the surface. There are doorways to dwelling places, all empty now, all leading into one another like cells of a honeycomb. Perhaps you can find your way through here. Painstaking progress. As you make your way through an asymmetrical foam of the beehive dwellings, past faded frescoes of the sea seen from above, beneath swags of cobwebs where a single sorrow spiders scuttle, past a long mummied human corpse, its limbs are curled and knotted like vines. What happened here? We have a fragment. Let's go deeper again. Once more. You found your way deeper. You succeeded in Amira's challenge. You're in the third tangle. We lost a foxfire candle. Don't look. Fight off winged things. It's as if the walls shed its skin. Suddenly they're on you. Everywhere. The air roars. They fill your mouth, eyes, nose. A straightforward challenge. Press on through. Forge on, your boatswain grasps your shoulder. Each sailor grasps the next. Bow your heads and push forward. We can go deeper, we can retrace our steps, and we can leave. Let's go once more in. Did we find anything cool? You found your way deeper. Search the church of the starved men. A cruciform chamber. With a great altar, rows of rotting pews, perhaps the windows once held stained glass. The altar is dripstone, painstakingly carved into organic shapes. Jointed limbs, eye bulbs, snapping claws, armoured... somethings. An inscription on the altar reads, So are we shaped. The stonecraft is perfect, but the spelling seems eccentric. Two stone knives rest on its surface, along with a chunk of flint that might be a knife, a tool, or simply a lump of rock. Three human skulls wait in a neat niche, niche at the back. Two have warped and lengthened jaws. The third has slumped and run like a melted candle, as though although it feels solid as any bone to the touch. What now? You can press on, or it'll get harder, or you can turn back with my treasures. We got two outlandish artifacts, three lem lamentable relics, and an uh, and an elowith. No, we're, we're fucking out of here. Retrace my steps. Closer to safety. Retrace my steps. Closer to safety. 
Fumble in the dark. Oh god. Somewhere... Somewhere is here is the way out. The darkness presses against you. Its breath is hot on your neck. Someone screams. Oh, <gasps> was it you? Onward, quickly. Perhaps we, you can still make it out. Gain ten terror at the edge of the citadel. We lost a crew. Leave. We fucking did it. A cheer. Money changes hands between monks as you emerge, blinking into the light of their lamps. It is their custom to make bets on the fate of travelers who enter the citadel. Not all of them are cheering. Alright, fellas. Have a little story for us. Give me a port report. That was kind of cool. Our hold is not completely full. Alright. My goodness. Let us now head to Polythreme. By going south. Wow. What? We lost a fucking guy. We sacrificed a guy for a bunch of stuff. A bunch of relics and the like. That was kind of cool. Oh god! Oh, we're fucked. We're gonna die. We're gonna die out here. Our terror's fucked as well. We need to do something about that. Oh god, look at that wibblin. That's scary. What is that down there? Something in the fog. Hello? Anyone? Alright. We're getting there, we're getting there. Commingle. Obey. The giant teeth skeleton around it. Almost there. Almost here to pick up our stuff. We can head down to Tortoise, perhaps. Say good day to the tortoise, fellas. Buy some fuel off him. Alright. Here we are. Polythreme here is screaming. Taciturn clay men, evasive clothes colonies. Walking like humans. Cobbles that groan underfoot. On the hills above, a palace villa of marble. But even that rides like buried bones in an earthquake. Collect the cheery man's cargo. Uh, cool. Great temple has been wounded. It will be years in the dying. It groans and shivers, and the clay men avoid the place out of fear and respect. But you meet one of their number in the ancient chattered chamber where the altar once stood. What souls are these? The clay man swallows the coins in handfuls, for safety, not out of appetite, you assume, and he hands you a crate of whispering souls. Human? The souls back home, back home are all but silent. Perhaps these are the souls of chairs, hats, swords. That's polythreme for you. Don't lose your cargo. Gather intelligence. What's new from polythreme? What lives? The king with a hundred hearts rules from his palace above the city. He is never seen. He makes no treaties with other lands. But there is unrest in the air. The clay men you speak to are obedient and humble. But they speak nervously for those who are not. The maimed, the rebellious, the unfinished. Shore leave. Carry clay men. Audience with the king. Yeah. Shore leave. It's an expensive place to reduce terror though. Fuck it. An uneasy respite. Fucking 30 for one? Ew. That's disgusting. Uh, how many... What's our cargo hold? Yeah, we can take some clay men. Bring materials. Should soul shit here, hey? Stygian ivory here for 30 is pretty good. Um, let's take some clay men to London. Are they passengers or cargo? They're the easiest passengers imaginable. Unless turn, one turns out to be an unfinished man. We are for London. Right, let's take them. Shops. That's it. Alright, from here. We are going to head into Khan's Glory. Then to Khan's Heart. Then to Port Cecil. Pigmoat Isle. Demio Isle. Lighthouse Fallen London. Let's go. Because we need some fuel. We need to buy some fuel. 
time left. There's tortoise. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We're doing so well. Do not shoot a torpedo. Actually, fuck off. Leave me alone. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be so upset. Run! We're allowed to be in these waters. You wouldn't dare shoot in your own city, would you? Try me, am. Yeah, fuck off, perhaps. Jesus Christ. We gotta reduce some terror. Our boys are gonna explode. The head's gonna fall off. Khan's glory. Gift to the leopard. Petition quarters. Offer a gift. Hmm. All right, let's offer a gift. Hey, we got tons of drowning pearls. Offer a gift to the Thai men. This clan is named for the sizable and ferocious fish off the surface. They have a fondness for drowning pearls for some secret clan ritual. There you go, Mark. In the in the yellow chamber by the palace entrance, a masked functionary scrutinizes the pearls. Yes, she says, even though the mask, even through the mask, she does not meet your eyes. She rises, turns, and leaves. We now have uh, Timon's Mercy's favor. Offer another gift. Nah, she'd be right. No shops here. Let's just wander around a little bit. Light blazes from every gate and window. You glimpse guards in gleaming uniforms, subterranean gardens of mauve and purple, hanging ornaments of scaled carnelian and jade, statues of warrior Khan's past. The water is dark and calm. The sentries watch you with a calm distrust. Gain a memory of distant shore. Gain a menace. Uh-oh. Alright. Off we go. Southward yet more. Oh, once more. Please repair my fucking boat. Into Khan's heart. We uh, we need to go now. It's our next destination. Oh no! I pressed the wrong button to turn. Ah! We're gonna explode. We're gonna die. Why is it so dark in this hell city? It's gross in here. London's rival. Here we go. Seek a commercial license. The Kaganians dislike merchants and they dislike foreigners. Foreign merchants include introduce paradoxisms of antipathy. Not here, surfacer. No, okay. Time in the tea house. Hire some crew. Purchase fuel at an outrageous price. Fifty dollars. Ill. No, not a, not a chance. Pay a storyteller. Gather a port report. Establish a spy. Seek intelligence. Okay. Um, five echoes. Sure. The storytellers in the Square of Cedars wear brightly coloured caftan-like clothing with silk sashes, in contrast to the more sober and subterranean dress of the citizenry. For coin, even foreign coin, they'll sing epics of their nation's history. The Temptations of Parabola, where London now stands at the, the capital of the Carnate once stood, after its own disappearance from the surface. After the clean sky and wide earth, they went half mad in the close night under the earth. They found serpent things in the mirrors that promised them diversion, escape, new horizons, animal crossing for the Nintendo Switch. In time, the mirror serpents became masters, not servants. And the last true Khan led the last of his people to the salt steps, to a bl the black rock where he founded this city. How he built it is a tale for another day. You feel eyes on you. A woman in white and gold uniform watches you closely. The loyalty service is suspicious of foreigners who want to learn Kaganian history. Gained a menace. Gained a memory. Lost five dollars. Time in the tea house. Mischievous prices. Gonna hire a crew. Food surprise supplies. Gather a port report. Let's do that. The Karganate generally assumes that all foreigners are spies or worse. It would be a shame to disappoint them, but it might be dangerous to prove them right. Uh-oh. We gain- okay. Your listeners met your questions with courteous, frightened silence. The back of your neck prickles. Don't turn around. 
All right, we gotta fuck off. We gotta get out of here. Nothing else to buy. We are out. And we are headed to Port Cecil. Roused at midnight. As the first watch ends, shouts, shouts for uh, rouse you. Your bosun's face is grim as you emerge from your cabin. We lost one. Waited yourself with pans and gave yourself to the depths. Took Cook's best kettle. Two, morale is worsening, Captain. Address the crew. Distribute an extra rum ration. Place guard on the cookware. Remind the crew that all shall be well. Uh, now nah, everyone get fucked up. Liquid comfort. It doesn't help with discipline, but the mood aboard is perpetually, perceptibly better. Lost five terror. Lost one supplies. Lost one crew. Shit. Not a great expedition, although we're going to make some good money off it. This ship is cursed. Aye, Captain. This ship do be harboring a fearsome hex upon it. It's jinxed, I say. Jinxed. Fuck it. We're going to Nuncio. Oh, uh, we only have five. No, we're going to try and head as straight back as we can. Yeah, we, we got to go up via Port Cecil. Unfortunately. Because we had to ditch all our fucking fuel because of this stupid hexed boat and its cursed cargo capacity of zero. Of literally just fuck all. It's upsetting. We're gonna run out of fuel. We're gonna run out of food. I don't want the journey to end for this character. Alright, how far away are we? Alright, wreck of the Emperor Wolfgang's close. Distant bells. We're getting close, we're getting close. Just don't hit anything. If anyone, like, accidentally takes their pants off and the belt buckle hits the ground too hard, our ship will explode. Alright. Port Cecil! Chess land. Gather intelligence. Uh, so we get a report report. Explore the knoll. Gather skin to lack. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hang on. What's our holds like, though? Oh, we got ten. We got, we got ten. We could gather skin to lack. We could explore. Yeah, let's explore. Something awaits us. Sea laps dark around silvery coral. Humps and columns rise from the coral. A bewildering maze. Go carefully. A pirate encampment. Uh-oh. Another fucking pirate encampment. This was an empty cliff top across above the bleak waves. Now it blazes with colour. Striped tents, coloured flames, music of pianola and kettle drum. Mustachioed women and languorous men play chess, carve bones, eat cats, and polish their terrifying brass weapons. These are the Iron Republic privateers. Pirates whose practices contravene the very laws of nature. We are going to creep close and eavesdrop. The Republic is privy to the gossip of hell. Creep close and you may learn impossible secrets. Fragments of meaning. They are speaking of a raid on the Khan's glory, from which they stole pieces of prayer, of a boast that a rival band made about stealing the Empress's wedding dress, of a sort of spiced meat which fills the heart with love, and they speak too, almost coherently, of privateer lairs in the Western Wall of passwords in use, of brass embassy protocols, and of tuning techniques for drawing lost souls close. A buzzing rises in your brain as you listen, until your eyes become unfocused and your tongue feels thick and heavy. You creep away before anything worse can happen. But this is an odd and useful miscellany of facts. Succeeded in a Veil's challenge, that's all for now. 84 fragments, 1 terror. Port Cecil. Nah, mate. Let's fuck off from here, mate. I'm buying one fuel for the road. Let's go across to Pigamoat. I think that's the, the, the Deadlands. Oh, fuck. Run. That better not move stupidly fast. It's awesome that we have this fucking double gun boat, but it's got 50 health. I mean, we could prey on the shitty little pirates down near the near, near London, I guess. 
but I want to go after some big prey. Especially when, like, we did this big fight and we got, like, one fuel and a cask of fucking mushroom wine off it. Alright, to Pigamote Island we go. Breaks my fucking heart. What's our terror at? 81. Not great, not great. Alright, in we go. The ruins of Pigamoat Isle. Search for the blue skin to lack. It may have survived the iron, uh, island's fall. Tiny glimmers marked where the rodent's treasure met at end. At its end, what pieces remain are too small to be worth collecting, even as souvenirs. Compile a port report. Sad. Absolutely fucking terrible. We should, we should just cross this fucking place off the map, dude. I'm telling you. Horrible. Horrid! Do not remind me of this folly. What is that? Big jelly? Kill it. Activate! Jelly kill! Operation fucker up. Holy shit. Hell yeah! We're, the, we're epic! That was great! Let's feed the crew. Scoop it up. Gain a supply. Fuck yeah, boys. Good job, good job. Good eating. We could we could fight something cool once we repair our boat. We could we could yeah, we could fight something kinda epic. Alright. So Demio Island. We're close. Then we're gonna go repair, go out for a bit of a jaunt, kill some shit. That's gonna be the primary goal. Here we go. This way. Hopefully reduce some terror as well. Ah, the funging station. That's right. That's what this place is. The, the mushroom... mushroom mines. Ding dong. Hello. Any mushroom men home? Hello. Iron and misery, uh, fungers. A volunteer, eh? Hmm. All right. Let us accept a volunteer. One of one of company's bulgious fellers has negotiated an early release from her contract. It's the Sproutling, she tells you, her face pleading. I keep picking them out of me porridge. And me air, and me eyes. Take me away, I'm a good worker. Sure, I'll pay you for a dollar. You pay the release fee to the factor, and your new zailer settles in. Ready to zail now? Nope. Let's compile a port report. What you got for me? I'll buy one fuel to help us get there. Yeah, and there we go. Fallen London's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. And then we'll see if we can replace this fucking boat. This garbage little fella boat. It's worse than that one that we started with. <laughs> can you believe that? Don't know why that light boat is there when Moody's light's here. You know what I mean? Like, what's the fucking point? What are you doing? Let's go and swap some uh, stories with this guy, get some Z stories. Lightship. Speak of the crew. No longer news at home. Recent news gone, Terra gone, Z story gained. And off we go to Fallen London. And we're all happy days, because we have the items that we need. 
so we can cross those unstamped souls of our list. We've used the flares at Godfall. So our next stop is Mount Palmerston, which is again a big fucking trip. The Chelinates over here, holy shit. Where's Mount Palmerston? All the way at the top, fuck. I was gonna go like, yeah, we just fucking bop around over here, but no, we're gonna go do, do this trip again, hey? Alright, I think I've got about half an hour. Oh no, we've got about an hour and a half left in this, I think. Maybe, I'll, I'll, I'll see. i got to skedaddle uh, at about nine something, so half an hour. Yeah, i got about like 45 minutes left. Warm congratulations, welcome home. You may ask how it is I am here to meet you, and I may remark that we have eyes in the waste and eyes in the hill. In fact, we have more eyes than a not oracle. And they're all glad to see you. And of course, your cargo. Hand over the cargo and claim your payment. Oh good, very good. Please accept this small token of my thanks. And please also accept my thanks. And my patron's thanks. Which we, uh, which we being persons of honour that understands the true nature of dealings is much more important. Still, spending money is always good, isn't it? And a captain must eat. So must a ship. Which is why if you look under the pier, you'll find a few helpful contributions of fuel and so forth. We were paid. The objective's gone, we lost our souls, we gained $200 for that, and three fuel and one supplies. That kind of sucked. <laughs> that kind of really sucked. Uh, what does this guy fucking want again? Some soup? Wither. To the north along the coast, 700 echoes. For seven salts, I guess? I mean, that's probably closer, right? Wither, where is that? Oh yeah, that's just up there. That's easy as piss. We can do that. Dark Speckled Admiral. Uh, port reports. Let's just quickly uh, send those away. Polythreme. Wisdom. Demi Isle. Leave. Let us visit the Rose Market. Unread Log. Skin to Lack. Oh, we should have bought it! Fuck, I'm so dumb! Alright, 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 alright. Uh, a scholar. Lamentable relic. Not a scientific curiosity necessarily, but the scholar has a collection or something. Beaming smile. This would be so terribly wasted in an ossuary. She, he, buffs the cranium with a sleeve. I think a climbing briar rose will suit this one rather well. A yellow rose, perhaps. Thank you so much. Let's keep this between ourselves. Favors are increasing. Um, you can have yourself a You can have another relic. There we go. And we leave. Now we go and check on the lodgings, read the morning papers, we can rest, I wish to rest, reduce some terror, we get another restful night, which is uh, nightmare resistance, now let us sell and buy, we have a full cargo unfortunately, zoop, literature, we might as well sell that shit hey, Oh, maybe, maybe that's going to be worth stuff where we go elsewhere, though. Hmm. Caminus Yards, Radis Favor. Oh, the, the, um, the dudes, hey? What about our, um, cargo men? Right? Where the fuck are they? Claim men marked for London. Hello? Uh. Oh, deliver claim men. There we go. Uh, $120, no more claim men. One by one they rise, uncomplainingly, with no trace of stiffness or discomfort from the long voyage. A deck resounds... The deck resounds beneath their heavy tread. A shroomyard manager awaits on dock, tapping her foot. About time, she says. Easy payment. Come along now, Hugh. There's a good construct. So we gained a little bit of money for that. We can hire on some more crew, put the ship in tri dock. We do need to do that. Let us spend some admiralty favours, maybe... I'm going to risk it with the uh, the lead beater and stain rods. 
$75. Increase the hull pretty much to full. That's all right. Now. What can we do? What can we upgrade to? We could get the saucy gibbon back. I guess. We could get the steam launch. That sucks. Hold capacity 30. Oh, this one's great. We need 2,500 echoes. God damn. A oh, merchant cruiser. Look at that. 120. A frigate. Oh, oh. My god. Look at these. Unreal. Unreal. Alright, fuck it. We're selling some stuff. Uh, we're gonna sell our approved romantic literature. Hmm. I just don't know where to buy and sell shit. Okay. Let's 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 do a quick Google. Uh what's it? Sunless Sunless C. Uh where where to sell items. What's good to sell? How can I make fucking money? Hmm. Alright, alright. Item location. London. Fallen London. What can I buy? Parabola linen. Where can we sell it? Not for a fucking profit, I tell you that much. So, let's buy price and sell price there. Oh my god. The, you basically can't sell anything from London for a profit. Like, at all. There, Yeah, you can't sell a single thing. You cannot buy anything in London. And then sell it for a profit elsewhere. It is impossible. What the actual fuck? Oh, I mean, the... No, that's fucked up. What is this? Wolfstack Exchange. You can buy a casket of sapphires and sell it somewhere. No, that's fucked. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we're not g gonna even ever bother buying anything. <laughs> um... All right, off we go then, I guess, hey? We got we got some food, we got some fuel. Let's go. We are going Hunter's Keep, Vendor Bite, Wither, and see, see what happens from there. Oh, uh, actually, we need to figure out where we take our snow person. Where's our snow person? The snow child is well frozen by the chill of the north. Wants to go east. Alright. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Send our shitty little boat north. Maybe I was wrong about the whole buying and selling shit. Because I was only looking at items... No. Uh, I mean, I was only looking at items you could buy from London. But I guess they've got the strongest... Like, economy? I don't know. I'd be needing to look at things that you can sell in London. But ne not necessarily get in London. Fuck. Hunter's Keep. Not receiving visitors. News, news, news. I've got recent news. Girls, come on out. Uh, nope. Oh no, they emerge. Alright, let's have um, lunch with Phoebe. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages, of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if only... as if to only a song she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts. Out through the skylights of the dining room to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern, you drift like a puffball spore. The Untersee shimmers below. 
islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips beneath between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There is a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came, said Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there, you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and bath oliver biscuits. That's all for now. Gained a memory of discs and chore. We're acquainted with the sisters, but something's changed. And we've gained a supply, lost 30 hunger, lost 5 terror. Fragments remains unchanged. And we have the god of the sea, Storm's attention. Let's, uh... Let's sell some of these fucking fragments and increase some of our skills. What can we do here? Uh, we can... Not do that one. We can increase our iron. What's our iron at? Only 33. Lost a secret, gained an iron. Lost a secret, gained an iron. And once more. <gasps> Lost a secret, gained an iron. Epic. Let's go! Now iron is not our lowest stat. We head north to Ventabite. We're gonna burn some- burn the midnight oil as it were, keep those, uh... Keep that fear sort of relatively down. Just every now and then flick it on and off. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. Hornsman Stag, brother. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I feel like this boat's kind of fast. And there's some cool stuff we can do here, I think. Hey, the Vengeance of Jonah. Samples today special. Offer a strange catch. Alright. It's a cramped little space, but better lit than most places in the tomb colonies. The scent of the dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? Might be. Might be good. It's difficult to tell. The food here is exceptional. You need not be fear poisoning or boredom. Definitely not boredom. This is usually a more effective way of reducing terror, and it will also reduce hunger. 60 bucks. Let's find out. A meal which defies description. The bandage Posionaire, owner of the Vengeance of Jonah, has identified seven flavors which are pleasant, seven which are unpleasant, seven which are neither. The flavors of this meal are chiefly of the first kind. We lost 1400, five terror, and 60 echoes. Tomb colony of Vendor Blight. Let us gather some gossip to get a port report. And we've already seen the curator. So let's just explore. Here they favor candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. Remnants. In a wide space behind the hollow temple, you happen across a steeped, stepped platform of sorts. Four statues guard it, marked with glyphs, all but lost to time and idle vandalism. They look a little like the glyphs that decorate the Echo Bazaar in London, though. At the heart of the platform is a long-filled well shaft, too. You poke about briefly, but something in the place makes you uneasy. A frost moth the size of a farmer's hand flutters down on the perch of the, on the well's edge. Another, a third, you retreat. Gain a terror, gain 20 fragments. What else can we do? It's kind of it. All right. We can sell some memories of distant shore. We'll buy, sell one of those. Uh, we don't have any tomb colonists. It's kind of it. That's all we can really do here. Let us now depart and head north. We are headed to Wither and Codex. To collect some bullshit. Off we go, boys. Off we go into that dark, dark night. And we might as well try and get to Mount Palmerston if we can. I don't think we're going to have the fuel and the like for it. Bats! Bats, bats, bats. Light them up, light them up. Big fella, big fella, big fella. 
that let us reduce terror by disposing of the corpses. Their eyes are still fierce and death. Sailors sweep them overboard with brooms. Careful not to, to touch them. Alright, just fucking be careful of that lifeberg. Oh god! Holy shit, we're out of here. We're, we're fucking out of here. That just did like 10 killion. We're gone! We're fucked, we're fucked, we're dead. Run! It's so fast. The chill of Avid Horizon runs deep in Rose's lacquer, but even such primordial cold cannot last forever. Rose now leaves small pools where it walks. Emergency measures. The crew packs Rose's Rose bed with ice, hoping to hold it together as it sleeps. The melting is at its worst then. We are about to fucking die. We, we lost two crew as well. We need to take on more crew. Alright, I had to emergency burn some fuel. <sighs> Got two out of five crew, it's not great. If your crew remains... Uh, if less than half your crew remains, you may not move at full speed. Jesus Christ. We can't repair our ship because we just have no health. Alright, bounce that light off the rocks. Come on, let's go, please. We need more sailors. All right, wither. Explore the town, gather intelligence, shore leave. First of all, gather intelligence. Uh, this is the place that only talks in riddles. Ooh, mute assault. We need seven of that shit, don't we? Right? Hmm. What do we need? Journal? Uh, favors, favors, favors. Learning about, memoirs, menaces, Mutton Island, objective. Uh, commission? That's admiralty stuff. Deliveries from the salt lines. Aha. That's the venturer's venture. Venturer's desire. Seven packages of muta salt. Five Z stories. How many of those do I have? What the fuck? How many Z stories? I only have five. We actually can't afford this shit. God damn. All right, fine. We are going to buy two fuel then. Hunter's Cage. I'll buy one supplies with some fucking stories, I guess. Wither. Uh, explore the town. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of grey stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have an irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, they are there are odd sights tucked away. Uh, an intriguing smell. Hmm. Let us try shredded jellyfish. Hearts failed. Gandatera lost two hunger. Fuck. House of the Question, gain Salt's attention, ask about the Drowned Man. Um, defy the Gods. Nah, fuck this. Alright, we're out of here, I guess. Off we go to Codex. Slowly, but fucking surely. We need to, we just need, we need sailors, dude. We need more sailors. We are so fucking slow, it's unreal. So we're going to have to, like, double... We're going to have to supercharge our engines to make any kind of progress anywhere. Omega fucked up. Omega fucked. Because look how slow we move. This shit sucks. Bounce some light off Codex to reduce our terror. Man, that iceberg dude was unreal. It's so unfortunate that he was around. I thought that that flensing cannon would have done way more to him. Alright, here we are at the Isle of Codex. Let us compile a port report. There is no doomed monster hunter for us. 
Uh, we've got 10 fuel, 10 supplies. Look, we're going to be okay. Uh, where do we go from here? Across to the Chapel of Lights, then to the Avid Horizon. Look, we, 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 we need crew. We need crewmen. Because if, if we see another lifeberg, we are actually fucked. We are omega fucked. If we see another one of those guys. There, there is no way we live. Hopefully the snow uh, keeps our little fella alive. Our little snow fella alive. Oh my god. Can I just increase game speed or something? Especially use cheat engine, maybe. To the north, the false stars fail in the darkness. Man, we're spending so much time in the- Oh god, another fucking- No, we're headed back. This is fuck, we're headed back. There's another lifeberg there. Not a chance in fuck we are even close to living. I think we downgrade the boat, hey, to our previous one. I got buyer's remorse. Come on, please have something in there. Please be something in that uncharted water. Something good for us. I see something over here, what is that? I'm gonna supercharge the engine real quick. What do we got here? What do we got here? There's a light. So that's something. What do we got? No islands. Fuck. Just a stupid ass rock. Boreal Reach. Is it snow? Touch it. And it puffs to vapor. Your crew huddle close to the warmth of the pipe and funnel. To the cock and bulbs. Alright, off we, uh, off we, off we wiggle, hey? Off we wiggle. Bloody hell. Oh god, another lifeboat. Alright, I'm gonna risk it, and I'm gonna walk away, plug in my phone, and then come back. Below. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll kill it. We'll eat it. Let's eat it. Hey, we have a strange catch. Hog. Nice, nice. We caught a strange thing. We can offer that to um, the fellas. Uh oh, activate lamp. Fuck up these bats. Epic. Good job, gentlemen. Good job. We're close. To the west, the Zanza Barbarians. <laughs> yeah. And they're flaming something women of death. Um, let's reduce terror a little bit by two. Let's get out of here. It's something sh yeah, it's their flaming short women of death. To the northwest dirty dishes! Alright, hopefully we can take on some more fucking crew. Cause uh, so many people died in that last last outing. Here we are. Finally. Vengeance of Jonah. Offer a strange catch. The Vengeance of Jonah is liberal in its approach to edibility. They'll pay a small fee and return some of the material to you as supplies. There you go, mate. We are fortunate. We lost a, a exploding wigs of death. Oh, yes. This, is, this one is interesting. Certain of the organs may be consumed only if boiled in the beast's own venom. 
They're remarkably nutritious, although the taste rather does linger. Good lord, it does linger. Move, move on, taste, move on. We were fortunate, we lost a strange catch, we gained five echoes, we gained three supplies! That's epic. Alright. Come on, come on. Last tour operator. This will replace 12 supplies. That sucks, why would you want that? With 12 tomb colonists. What the fuck? Why would you want that? That's garbage. Okay, can we buy anything here? Nope. Can we explore? Let's explore Vendor Bite. A withered garden. Dead fir trees have a carpeted a little park with old brown needles. A little group of tomb colonists stands around another, one another, lying on a bench. Unexpectedly, you find yourself reminded of physicians and midwives at a birthing couch. The colonist on the bench, he's old, withered to sticks, groans horribly, though the fur needles deaden the sound. Something moves in his chest like a sea creature surfacing or a butterfly breaching a cocoon. The other colonists spot you and close ranks around him. Stay back, silk skin, one hisses. This is his breaking out. Your time will come. There is a kind of rapture in her voice. You've gained one tale of terror, gained one terror, gained 15 fragments. That's all for now. Uh, dusty glass of wine, first curator. Nah, let's get out of here. We still have no one that we can fucking take on. This sucks. One deeds to a steam yacht. Oh, you can buy things at different... Oh, what the fuck? I had no idea. We must check all shipyards. This is unreal. It's only 1500. Oh, but we have to have a deeds to a steam yacht. Where do we get that? Maybe by killing someone. And now we trundle on back. I'm activating the mega flame. Because all of our crew are fucking dead. And our ship's about to fall apart. Fire! You've pushed your engines too far, too far. Sailors scream. Flames rage. Heal the wounded, damp the flame. Do what you can. Quickly! Oh my god. You saved injured sailors, but the ship has suffered terribly. You lost six hull. We only have eight left. We're about to explode and die. Oh my god. Alright, let's uh, chug on back to fallen London then, eh? Shit sucks. This is the worst expedition ever. And then I think we've got time for one more little expedition. If we can make it back in any semblance of order slash time. Uh-oh, who the fuck are you? You don't look like a baddie to me. Oh, thank God, that scared me. Whew, that ding startled me. I'm not gonna lie. Any little treasures I can collect from the sea? Nah, nothing. We just gotta sail. That's all we have to do. Sail on, you shining diamond. Crazy diamond? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, bro. Zanzibanian short women. And they're exploding wigs of death. To the fucking northwest, mate. Dirty dishes, brother. God, our terror is so fucked up. Fuck, wrong button. Oh, hopefully the engine doesn't fucking explode. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's hot. It's running real hot. It's running incredibly hot. Oh god. If we die, I'm gonna be so upset. <gasps> no! The chill of Advent Horizon runs. Yeah, the inevitability of snow. Rose does not have long left. The snow child is struggling. The ship is out of ice. And ideas. Rose is losing its struggle. The end could come at any time now. Fuck! We've got to go. We've got to go as far east as we can. This is where our, our journey is now.
Come on. <gasps> Don't hit the walls. You'll explode. You'll, in you'll, you'll die. The snowman's gonna die. Alright, we gotta hire some crew. We gotta repair the ship. And then we need to head to Mount Palmerston for some soup. And then as far east as we can go. Returning to London, a breath of relief. Gained two menaces. The nightmare strength is now seven, but we have dramatically reduced our terror. Collect messages from the harbor master. Something's changed. Someone wants to sign on. Uh, the alarming scholar has invited you to call on her, him at the university. Interesting. All right, dark speckled admiral. Hey, admiral. Have some garbage port reports. Yep. Have a port report. Have a port report. Go to the shipyard. Do we take the saucy gibbon? I mean, I like the double guns. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go to the exchange. Let's... What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can we sell anything? Do we have anything to sell? Not really. Okay, let's... Dark Speckled Admiral. Dry Dock. Repair my shit, please. Wonderful. Someone wants to sign on. Where? London. Carouse, hire on crews. A new recruit. Who do we get? An officer. A sailor. I think we just need a sailor. Five Echo, one crew. Lost one terror. London. Uh, wolf stack docks. We can carouse. We can hire on. Let's hire on another crew. Sl uh, rich pickings. Gained two crew. Our crew is now full. We are fine for dry dock. Venturer's desires, no. Alright. Do we get a tattoo? Iron go up. Veil go up. Mirror go up. Hearts go up. Pages go up. Let's get... Pages go up, if we can. Nope, then let's get Iron Go Up. The Dauntless Hand, commemorate your daring. We get a cool tattoo. The Gold Needle Pricks. Lily Cathermont hums. The design is complete. Scales, mapping your fingers like a gauntlet. Wear it proudly. Gain two iron, lost a tail of terror, lost 25 terror, lost one echo. Your own sweet, sweet skin quality is now the Dauntless Hand. Alright, so that guy can stop fucking annoying me now. The Alarming Scholar is mercurial, to say the least. A creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth. Is it possibly her? Is it her? Appointment was that University Maritime Liaison was precautionary. To keep his, is it his, razor-sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty. Ah, yes, the Scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? What if, didn't you invite me in or something, my guy? Didn't you invite me over? Well, fine, fuck you then. Whatever. God damn it. Rose's Wharf. Uh, this guy wants skin to like. This guy wants. Oh, we know where to get skin to like, so we're fine with that. What do we need? What do we need? Adventurous desires. Uh, my lodgings. Read the morning papers. Yeah, just read the morning papers. Recent news supply, we've got that coupon. Lost a terror, that's kind of epic. Let's have a restful night to reduce this fucking nightmare strength. Hmm. Straightforward challenge, ship in dry dock, new recruit. No, perhaps not. I guess uh, the scholar doesn't want to see us, right? Memory of distant shore, tales. And now, esteemed defender, we feast. Um, you can have an outlandish artifact, I guess. Maybe. Nah, you can just have like a shitty story. You can have a memory of distant shores. Ten dollars. One more. 
You can have another one of those. Favors are level 5. I don't know what that does, though. Alright, let's leave the university. Do we buy some cargo? Aha! What's our current cargo at? What do we have in our hold? Oh, cool. We'll, we'll burn fuel and stuff getting there. So, we now need to go up to Mount Palmerston. So, we're just going to go as direct as a route as we possibly can. Yeah, we got time. We got a little bit of time. Onwards. Come now, men. We must venture forth. Alright. This is our heading. This will take us, like, directly there. Look at that. I'm an able seaman. Doinks into the fucking thing. My course, my heading, it's been fucked. Let's maintain this heading for as long as she bears. Through the fog. That, that scared the shit out of me. Someone was like putting recycling out. I heard the clattering of cans and it startled me. Something fierce. If he can find a pirate, I'll fuck him up though. <laughs> so far to go. Far, far off. Someone screams. It was me hearing those rustling cans. Reoccurring nightmare. The sea is bright as milk. Marky Plier loves to drink milk. False stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze enfolds your boat. You are transparent as glass. Flee the nightmare. Confront the nightmare. 40%, 20%. Nah, mm. no, we, we're going to try and flee the nightmare. Turn the helm and flee across the milk bright sea. An escape? The sea churns in your wake. You pull away from the eye into shallower waters of waking, but the terror clings. Gain seven terror. Lost uh, a nightmare strength. Lost a restful night. Alright. Off we go. Let's just maintain our uh, torch where we can. Man, it burns fuel so fast though. It's unreal. Crawling stars. Um, 50%. I'll roll the dice. Bad luck. I mean, a bat is luck. We lost five terror. The stars on the ceiling changed. We saw a cool bat. No! Rose has run out of time. It asks to see you. Rose's eyes have already melted. Its mouth is full of water. Lift what remains of a hand. Pay your respects. Shifting, sitting vigil. The cold cuts into your skin, but you hold tight. It's not long before Rose's grip melts away. Only a few hours before its shape is barely recognizable. By first watch, nothing remains but a few scraps of ice, a puddle, and the lingering smell of ammonia. <laughs> no, we gained five hearts. The snow child has departed. The snow child is no more. Fuck. That's sad. That's sad. Well, maybe we'll stop by uh, Avid Horizon and see if we can fucking do the deed again. Summon a new fucking stone, I mean, uh, Ice Child. They were my flesh and blood. I mean, just just blood, not flesh, just just, just blood and water. Warped, Alright, we're passing the salt lines. <gasps> Who's this? What's their fucking strength? <gasps> they're, they, they're shit! They suck! Let's kill them! Run them down! Oh, we're great! They're not... We're epic! Look at that! Merciless! Loot and scuttle. Two supplies, one fuel, and... More supplies. That was sick. That was epic. 
Well done. Well done, my crew. Well done. Well battled. Cause when you're a professional pirate... When you're a professional pirate... Let's put that on as a midi. Nah, that's not gonna be it. Alright, because I'm typing in pirate and it really just... Another one! Run him down! Go, 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 go! They're fleeing. Slice him. Hell yeah! Two supplies, two fuel, stout crate. Oh, we have too much shit. Look at this. That's epic. We're great. We're so powerful. You don't have to wear a suit. Reoccurring nightmare. Ooh, high risk challenge. Yeah, okay. Now let's try and flee the nightmare again. We do. We gain six terror. Lost uh, our nightmare strength. Let's stop by old mate over here. Wait, yeah, this ship's pretty epic at killing pirates. Everyone's thinking it, I'm just saying it. Pirates. Speak to the crew. Have a, have a bit of a gander, gain a sea story, lost five terror, lost all re recent news. No shipyard. Off we go. Northwards. Towards Bright. See what we can see up that way. This is more or less our heading. There just happens to be a big fucking island in the way, unfortunately. Let's head south around it. Bounce some light off it for the am for the ambiance. Ship's moving nice and fast. We have to buy seven soups. Is our, is our current mission. Seven soups for seven men. Nah, just one guy. He wants seven fucking buckets of soup. Greedy shit. Fat fella. Some kind of fat fella wants a bunch of soup. I'm disinclined to acquiesce this motherfucker's request, though. Um, ooh. Alright, we can sort of explore this area. We, we can afford that. Anything? Anything? Distant bells. Up this way, through the... Through the lily pads. Up towards Bright, and then across to Mount Palmerston. That will unlock some more areas of map as well. Doesn't look like there's anything here, just fog. Yeah, it's literally just fog, that sucks. Alright, we're out of the fog bank. Here it is, bright. Finally, bright. I think that, like, you should never gain, like, if you can see something on the map, you shouldn't ever gain terror. Frost found. Ooh, we can engage an officer, but we're full. We can take tea with the squatters, ask them about the castle, enter it. But we need. Like, no terror. Alright, first of all, uh, Frostbound. Towers and ramps and galleries and stairs of ice, raised and spun like an architect's honey dream. No spider ever wove so complex a web. The towers are utterly pristine, untouched by human life, but a pitiable encampment squats by the dock. Ask the squatters about the castle. Not if you can enter. If you can enter, you should not, mate. We got enthusiasts here from time to time. Yes, you might be able to enter the castle before the appointed time. You might even find something of value there, but you'd be despoiling sacred ground, my friend. It will take your stories from you. It will take your essence, yourself. And if you survive that, you'll likely anger the gods of the sea. Yes, they're real. As real as the corridors of Frost Founder. Stay away, my friend. Stay away. Let us... Create a port report. Not all are Iremi or Wytherin, 
There's the odd researcher, the occasional deranged ice sculptor, now and then a very cold, very stand rubbery man. But for the most part, an atmosphere of friendly rivalry reigns. We have a port report, there's no shops, there's no shipyard. Off we go. Across to Mount Palmerston. Yeah. Alright, so we can we can stay around this big ass island and more or less have the ability to just keep the torch off. As long as we stay sort of close. So we're going to go northwards and then just jut across. We needed skin to lack as well. I can't remember where we get that. Alright, let's begin to duck across. Through a fog bank. Ew. Uh, this is the way by the looks of it. God, the fog. <gasps> it comes! Send out a bat. We've entered a fog bank. Palmerston's reach. There's brimstone on the wind. No islands within range. A Faustic Corsair. Uh-oh. That's 300 health. Torch off. We run silent. Hold your breath. I think it's seen us doesn't care for now all right here we are Port Palmerston we're close oh god he's he comes <laughs> leave me alone go away Kaus Faustic Corsair Mount Palmerston let us buy some soup. Uh, oh god, that scared me. I like buying that last soup. <laughs> Shit. Alright, our hold is more or less full. It sucks. 15, yeah. Shipyard? Nope. God damn. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go up to the crater. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but the road to the Brimstone Convention is paved with cinders. Do they admit visitors to the Brimstone Convention? Probably not, but you never know. They might sell tickets. Above the bay. Look down and see Port Palmerston like a toy, and the ruins like gravel. You've come far, but the volcano's cone still rears above you. Rest a little bit before you go the last half mile. You found a cottage by the gate to Brimstone Convention. Ah! The road to the crater ends at a brass gate in the crater wall. Beside it stands an oddly charming little cottage. It's thrown together from pumice and basalt, but it features honeysuckle. An equally charming devilist in tea gown leans against the cottage wall, a twirling a parasol and fanning herself. I am the guardian of this place, she remarks languidly. You may not pass. May I offer you a cup of Amarala tea? It's not one of the poisons one, is it? Nah, you haven't brought a sufficiently long spoon, perhaps. You make your excuses. The devilist watches you leave, a little sadly. You think, I know how it is, she calls after you. Mortals are always short of time, but do drop by again next time you're here. Alright, fucking whatever. Let's chat to the port folk, get a port report. Dig amongst the ruins? Sure. Matter of luck, 60% chance of some stuff. We were unlucky. Alright, cool. That's fine though, because we can buy some more soup. How many do we have? We have exactly as many as we need. Um. Okay, from here, we head back, I guess. But that's going to be next stream, because I have to go. Bing. Bong. Bing. The game is saved. We exit to the de desktop. We go over here. I'm going to end the stream. Remember to export the VOD. I've got a couple of things scheduled. I've got some thumbnails to make when I get back as well. Uh, we delete this one. Beep. Boop. Beep. Uh, I need to get, I need to make some thumbnails for how many videos have I got to put up? 
one, two, three, four, five, six. I right, have about six videos to, to, to work on and then just sort of upload or schedule. And I'll do them like one, one a day. Anyway, I gotta get going. I'll do something tomorrow. It will probably be Darkest Dungeon. I think. What is this? Root Runners? When was that published? Oh, I fucking know. 